All right, so iOS 26 developer beta 2 has been out for several days. And as per usual, I always like to come back and share with you guys any additional new features and changes that I may come across after using the beta for several days. I also like to talk about the performance and a little bit about the battery. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about is the latest AirPods firmware update. Apple released the first beta for AirPods firmware update in form of beta one alongside iOS 26 developer beta one or several days after. Now, just yesterday, Apple issued the second beta for AirPods beta firmware as well. Now, the latest beta obviously for AirPods brings these changes to AirPods and the second beta continues to build upon this. So charging reminders, we also have pause media when you fall asleep and use your AirPods as camera control. So if you wanna try out the latest AirPods firmware update, obviously you're going to need to pop your AirPods open, make sure that they're paired to your iPhone and you'll be able to try the beta directly from the settings inside of the settings application for your AirPods. So yeah, the second beta is now available as of yesterday for AirPods and this is going to be the latest build for the beta two on AirPods firmware update. Now there's also some minor UI changes that I've noticed after updating for beta two. You see right here, the customize button on the bottom of the screen there, when you go to customize on the lock screen, you see the new reflection, you see that the wallpapers and the new shape of the customize button is a little different and you see the reflection of the wallpaper. I think liquid glass is such a nice design when it comes to these types of reflections and animations. For example, the animations when you unlock your iPhone, the bouncy effect on the applications is not as bouncy on the second beta. It's still there, but not as bouncy. So minor UI changes and refinements happening here. There's also on-device intelligence now that can tap into your email application for recent orders. So if you go into the wallet, you'll now be able to tap on the top right here and see your orders and order status directly from the wallet application. Again, this is using on-device intelligence to determine if you recently ordered something and you can track it there directly from the wallet on your iPhone. Now there's also some minor changes happening to the live activity for a timer here on the lock screen. You see, we now have the liquid glass look or transparency, translucency directly on the live activity for you know something like a timer or stopwatch and things like that. Something that wasn't here with a beta one. Now, another thing that I do want to talk about is some changes happening within a chat GPT extension for Apple intelligence. So if we head on over to chat GPT, we now have these options right here. So we have the image limits and we now also have other request limits options available there. So you'll now be able to see those two right there side by side. So image limit for image generation requests, obviously, and the other requests for text-based and other types of requests, you can now see it right there directly from the ChatGPT extension inside of Apple Intelligent Options. Now, I wanna talk about performance and battery life next. So in terms of performance, I do have to say the second beta feels a lot smoother and things are running a lot better within the second beta. Now, that's not to say that we don't have any bugs and issues, we definitely do. And Apple will continue to address bugs until the official release for iOS 26, but the second beta is a lot smoother. Things feel a lot more stable within the second beta in terms of animation, scrolling. So that's something that we do want to see, obviously, beta after beta. Hopefully we'll see a more stable release once the software is available in September. So fingers crossed for that. Now, when it comes to battery life, I typically don't like to talk about battery life too much when it comes to beta software, especially a major beta like iOS 26. So from beta one to beta two, battery life unfortunately is still not the greatest and that is to be expected it's been just a couple of days since the second beta has been out and i have to say my early impressions of the second beta it looks like battery life is still struggling just like it was on the first beta so i wouldn't recommend ios 26 beta 2 for anyone on a primary device although i know a lot of you guys are running this on your primary device i'm sure you're probably charging more than once every single day if you're anything like me you're struggling with battery life for those of you with iPhone 15 Pro or later, just a quick tip, you can use the adaptive power mode, which is available under the power mode options here under your battery settings. This could help you, you know, get through your entire day, especially with the beta testing. So
So overall, I do have to say we've seen performance increase, of course, stability here, some great new features and changes added to the software. So I'll keep you guys posted. I'll have a follow up video a week later just to give you a more in depth analysis on the battery status for this beta. Thank you for watching this quick update video. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.